Welcome back, and here we are Monday morning. This um, first of the uh, door fixtures for holding the parts of the door when we trim them has been finished on the mill, and you can see it came out pretty nicely. Still needs a little bit of sanding, but this one obviously not pulling a mold, so it'll just be sanding and priming, and uh, just you know making it look respectable. So that um, that one came out fine, and so pretty happy with that. And so next up, we started milling the one for the inner face of the uh, glare shield. So this is, again, just a, a ball mill pass. And probably could, could have done it with a flat mill on some of it and ball mill on some of the other areas, but I already had the path and had time, so just ran it this way. And this is in the morning. You can see it's finished. And so that one came out nicely as well. There's a few little low spots there you can see on the right-hand side, but those will be filled easily and, and they're not even actually part of the part so uh, not a problem there but anyway that's not going to take very much uh, sanding to before that's ready for priming and so this morning i actually started the other side one so this is the one for the um, left hand door or left hand door fixture and that'll take about 15 hours to run that so this morning the guys started laying up the first of uh, five molds uh, that make up these door frames and so here you can see this is the first layer of black top coat that's been put down and mating up to the boards that um, section off the first part and while they're waiting for the top coat to dry they've do, been doing a little bit of sanding on that first of the door fixtures and, and you can see it's moving along quite quickly And here's Jeff laying down the rubber profile for the first of the um, window frames. So just using a bit of super glue there just to hold that in place. So here we are a little bit later on. We have uh, both of the top coats um, being laid down now, just waiting for those to dry. So the guys can begin uh, laying down the um, lightweight uh, fiberglass as the first layer. And here they're actually getting close to being finished for the day on this. So this is um, the second layer of uh, heavy carbon fibre going down. And then after that would be uh, just some pure ply. And so tomorrow they'll be finishing those off with um, probably three layers, three layers of uh, heavy carbon. And Roberto and Chris were back for the afternoon. And so they're laying down the um, carbon fibre on the uh, braces for these uh, door skins. So we'll be able to uh, wax those uh, molds and get them ready to lay up the, the skins. And here's these ones for the door frame molds. So they've got the peel ply on them now. And so all that's left to do on those first two is put the heavy layers on there in the morning. And then we'll begin uh, on the other one, probably lay up the first uh, two parts on the other one as well. And meanwhile, the machine's been humming along all day, and you can see it's almost halfway through on this uh, window, oh, sorry, door fixture now, just with that ball wheel pass. So it's basically running at a, a 20 thou step over. So that's how far it moves each time it makes a pass. And while all that's going on, I've been preparing the next set of parts uh, so we can make the plugs. And so this is the firewall and those little stick outs there are um, so they can go around where the baggage doors are and the engine will be on this side of the part and uh, the baggage compartment on the other side of it. So that one is basically ready and we have all the dimensions so the guys can start uh, cutting the platform for that one. And next up, there's two different braces that actually meet that previous firewall on a, on a perpendicular to it. So they'll be uh, making the platform for that. And this one is really easy. Um, nothing complicated about this one. So that'll go fairly smoothly uh, when we get that one up on the mill. And this one's far more exciting. So this is the lower half of the dash. Um, the area or the piece that sits uh, below the main panel. And so you can see in here, there's uh, two glove compartments that make up this one on either side. And they're actually really decent size ones, as you might've seen on the website. 
and then uh, there you have um, a little recess there for where the side sticks are, one on either side. And then in the middle, that's where you have that's where the GNS 750 will be, uh, the main the main navigation uh, avionics. And as you can see, I've added the flanges uh, for when we cut the the plug. So we have an area there to put our um, our rubber profile around. And lastly, these little indentations in the bottom, those are so your knees have a little bit of extra space. And up the top here, this is where the actual uh, instrument panel will be. So next up, I wanted to do a bit of analysis of the air intake that um, I've designed now that we know kind of where the radiator is going to live. And this is just a representation of how that um, is actually shaped. So you see at the top there that you saw, that's the air intake, the, the actual shape of it. And the bottom there is kind of where the radiator is. And you can see how it starts off narrow and expands out. So um, SolidWorks allows you to do a flow simulation on this to see how it's going to um, work. And so here's a cutaway so you can kind of see how the inside of it looks there. And uh, as, as I said, it starts off narrow and gets wider. So generally that will slow the air down and actually increase the pressure. But uh, you'll see right away there's obviously going to be a problem here with the air not flowing smoothly. And so here's the simulation. As you can see, most of the airflow is just going to go to the back of that thing. So the radiator will only be getting half the air or all the air actually at the top of it, which isn't very efficient. So uh, the way to solve this is to put some veins in there to uh, force the air to kind of spread out. And I'll show you here in a second uh, how we've uh, uh, mocked that up. And here you can see the veins. So there's basically three of them in there and also some cross ones to help support those. So we'll probably be making those um, just out of uh, some thin layers of carbon fiber. And this will give us the solution we need. And I, I spent quite a bit of time just, um, you know, experimenting with different uh, angles and things on these to see what worked best. But this is basically a um, pretty good solution. So there you can see the air flow is a uh, smoothed out much better and actually slowed down uh, even even more than the previous um, solution there and really not too much turbulence going on in there so that's basically how we're going to solve this problem of um, getting even air distribution across the radiator so that's uh, one more problem down and just uh, i don't know another thousand to go still anyway that's our update for the first half of this week uh, thanks again for watching